Hey everyone, March of the Machine is here, and I'm back to open up a bundle and a collector booster pack that I picked up because I felt like it. How's everyone doing? It has been a hot minute since I've seen you guys. Good to be seen, such as it is. Um, just to fill you in while I do this, I've been super duper busy with life. That's why I've not been around doing any of this in quite some time. But I'm here every once in a while. I always think about, hey, I should probably make a video, open up some packs, have some fun, enjoy the finer things in life, get myself a Galta. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to do the scanner today. Uh, I think the, the um, prices are not really loaded onto TCG Player yet. Maybe we got some foil lands there. Love me some foil basic lands. The invasion is happening there. So yeah, we're just going to do a little simple, old-fashioned fat pack opening. Not so fat anymore with just eight packs. Although, they are set boosters. I was explaining to someone earlier that uh, there's draft packs for when you want to play. There's set booster packs for when you want to collect. And then there's collector boosters for when you want to collect even harder. But right now we're going to get into these set boosters and see what we can get. So I have been playing quite a bit of arena over the last six months that I've been gone from doing physical card pack openings. So I've been following the storyline, playing with some Phyrexians, and uh, now we're getting into battles here. So I'm, uh, I've been up to speed here. Um, actually just trying to become a better player more than anything. We've got an Ancient Imperiosaur. Very nice. I actually built a, a big green deck um, last night and was playing that. I was smashing some face with this exact card, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking money-wise for this set, it's all about the Praetors and the showcase versions on those Mythics. So that's what we're hunting for today. But Dina Soulsteaver, I do love this uh, showcase art um, callback to the Strixhaven um whatever they called those we got an errant and giada very cool so that's keeper for me not that i play oh and the list we got the interplanar beacon from the list which actually i do like that card so we'll look for some list cards uh, but yeah i've been actually just playing on arena mostly in the play queue i don't i don't ever get to mythic i mean i think my best is like platinum we got a gimbal here Gremlin Prodigy from it's one of the commander decks for this set, I believe. Got an Inga Rune Eyes, Hirobi, Deathwell. Shout out down below if one of these is like a super good price, because I am not sure. Invasion of Theros. I'm just chilling out, having some fun. That's a rare. It can go in the rare pile. What have you guys been up to? Tell me all about what's been going on with you down below. And thanks for watching. Sailback, Herbology. So the battles. We've got a raft. I do like the battle mechanic. I think it's fun. I'm sure a lot of you will say that it's uh, mainly for limited. I think there will be a couple of the, that will uh, that will actually be standouts. And it's all about what does the front side do, right? So it doesn't even matter if you get to the back side if you can't do something good with the front side. So each player mills three card, then each opponent discards a card, and you draw a card. So for that effect, for three maybe not so much but I mean it is an uncommon right so we got hoarding brood lord you can convoke a giant flying dragon onto the battlefield if you've got five creatures to tap to make that happen um, you're probably already halfway to winning the game already right Colossus of Sardia uh, that seems like a bulk rare from way back in 10th edition good old list the list is full of needed reprints. I disagree. Yargle. Love it. Glutton of Erbor, yeah. It goes in that pile. Matrinkle Cove. Corruption. We've got Invasion of Lorwyn. Daxos, he's back. Did he get completed? No. There we go. We've got a Showcase of Warren Clex. Voice of Hunger. Ooh, and a Chrome Host Seed Shark. I think, I think that might be a pretty good card here. Let me know down below. I might just real quick try to like pop into 
Um, there's a couple, of course, there's like five different versions of every showcase, right? So, is this the extended art Warren Clex? I don't know. I just don't know. Can't see it in my other tab here. So, let me know down below how did I do on my Warren Clex? I mean, it's a, it's a cool card. Chrome Host Seed Shark. I'm counting on you guys. Come through for me. Which treasures did I pull? Um, yeah. Ran out of stuff to say right there. That does happen quite often. Renata. Invasion of Karsis and Invasion of Kaladesh. Got a foil battle there. And when enters battlefield, it deals three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Wow, so it's like an ultra pyroclasm, huh? And then what does it do on the back? Uh, it's a 4 4 elemental. It has a ward with pay two life. Whenever you cast a spell, refraction elemental deals two damage to each opponent. Sure. All right. Yeah, you could probably do some stuff with that, right? It's, you know, you build around all the battles. You probably come up with a pretty good deck. I think I saw uh, Legend VD do a uh, battles deck already. Which, I mean, whatever he touches turns to gold. When I try it, I happen to suck. Here we go. We completed the sword cycle. Sword of Once and Future. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. That's protection from blue and black. Never equip creature deals common damage to players. Surveil two. Then you may cast an instant sorcery spell. Mana value two or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell will be put in your graveyard and you exile it, equip it for two. I think the general consensus is that this is not as strong as some of the old swords. I'm sure it'll find a home somewhere in some Demir list, right? You guys tell me. What do you think? What do we got here? Boonbringer Valkyrie. Got a Scab. Branch Burner. Thalid. Old Grotha. Invasion uh, deals three damage to any other target. You gain three life. And then it's a 3-3 Human Wizard. Grandmother Singer. That's great. Valdeck, Keeper of the Flame. Love the Showcase. And another Showcase. Lathiel. And Archpriest of Shadows. Human Warlock. Death Touch. If it's big enough to be a 4-4, four four, does it really need Death Touch? I don't know. What do I know? And Incubator Token. Okay. That's, uh, that's my hits right there. Are they hits? Again. I need you guys to inform me. But let's go ahead and open up this Collector Booster. I don't want to, uh, think I need to make a whole nother video out of it. Do I? Do I need to make more videos? Come on, tell me. Level with me. Is everyone clamoring for more tragic? Or am, am I? Oh, there's a whole zipper thing here. Totally missed it. Or am I yesterday's news? It's like, what a package right there. I got this from Target, of course. I didn't really feel like I should order away for an entire box of collector boosters. I'm just not really needing that many. Why did I need to deal with that in the first place? I'm getting rid of this pack anyway. Yeah, I don't I don't really feel the need to, to own a ton of cards right now. Um, it's like the worst pack. Is there like one of those side openers? No. Because um, I'm playing digitally and I have a zillion cards, like literally 100,000 cards right behind me that I don't even play with. So, okay. What is going on with the pack now? There we go. Got it. Yeah, I was like opening like an upper deck baseball card pack. All right, here we go. Collector pack. Cut short. Core halberd. Got all the shinies. Marauding dread ship. Corrupted conviction. Cosmic hunter. Hunger. Tandem takedown. Harried artisan. Floor at Mountain, Guardian of Giripur, Archangel Elspeth, there we go, Full Art, and we got a Surak and Gorklaw, so the Planeswalker is pretty nice, Renata Call to the Hunt, Rona, oh yeah, this is like the oil treatment, very cool, I haven't seen one of these, Rona, and the other Rona, she finally got her wish and got completed, I think, we got a Tribute to the World Tree, I don't know. Foil Borderless and a Taste of Carla. Wow, that's pretty nice. So that's a very cool showcase reprint there. Excellent. All right, there's my collector's pack. Again, I don't know the prices because I didn't bother to look them up.
So I'm leaving it up to you studious fellows to do that for me. Let me know. How did I do? Let me know. Do you want to see more of me? Let me know. Did you miss me? I missed all of you guys. I really did. Have a good one. Catch you next time. I don't know when that will be. You know, by popular demand, maybe I'll get out here a little more often. Catch you later.